American hotel major Marriott International has 160 hotels across South Asia, including 148 in India alone. They boast of the largest room inventory in India with over 28,000 rooms and a presence across 40-plus cities. According to a report by ICRA, the Indian hotel industry is expected to register 7-9% to revenue growth in FI25. What will be Marriott's strategy for India in 2024 and 2025? Joining us to talk about it all is Rajiv Menon, President Asia-Pacific at Marriott International. Uh, Rajiv, thank you very much for joining us. Give us a sense of how the travel demand, the demand for the hotel industry actually look like in 2024. Thank you, Pariksha. It's a pleasure to be with you. Um, India, as I've been saying for a little while now, is uh, definitely a shining star in the world today. Uh, as we came out of COVID, India was one of the fastest markets to recover. Uh, just last year, for full calendar year of 2023, uh, we registered a rev par growth of close to 35% over 2019 um, and uh, almost 32% over 22. Uh, we continue to see very strong demand going into this calendar year, um, 2024, and I expect that that would continue through for the rest of the year. Uh, any estimate that you would be working with in terms of, uh, you're talking about a 32% growth in 2023, what could be the growth in uh, 2024, according to you? Again, uh, as I mentioned, that we, at the, from the start of the year, throughout the first quarter, have been seeing double-digit strong ref par demand growth, uh, and we expect this will continue. Um, unfortunately, being a public company, I'm not able to give you specific numbers, uh, but I do, you know, strongly believe that we will register uh, double-digit growth across the country. And again, when you think about not only performance, uh, but also in terms of number of hotels that we are opening across the country, uh, this year we are going to, in the next two months, basically in May, open our 150th hotel uh, on the footsteps of Vaishno Devi, Katra Marriott hotel and resort. Um, we are adding a total of 12 new hotels across the country this year. We have a pipeline of 100, sorry, pipeline of 80 hotels um, in India today on top of the 150 that we would be operating by next month. We signed a stunning JW Marriott Resort and Spa in Alibagh, uh, just 10 minutes from you know, Mumbai Gateway, uh, a destination resort that will not only have facilities um, which will include great convention areas uh, and villas and resort facilities, but also a ranch-style concept with horse riding and other recreational facilities. So as a company, we have been very focused on these resort destinations. In fact, I'm speaking to you right now from JW Marriott Golfshire, which is one of the most stunning golf resorts in India. Uh, and these kind of destinations are gathering uh, incredible amount of demand. Uh, and we, we genuinely believe that this will continue to grow as leisure demand continues to grow in India. Right. So very bullish on India in terms of expansion. You're saying the 150th hotel will be opened in Vaishnu Devi very soon. You've got a pipeline of 80 hotels. So in terms of total expansion in the India market, what will be the overall figure for 2024 and how many are you going to open in just the next two months? So by the end of 24, we will have 160 operating hotels in India. Um, we, as I just mentioned on our pipeline, and I expect by in the next five years, Marriott would have 250 operating hotels across the country uh, with uh, about 50,000 rooms um, across India. And as you know, today we are across 40 cities. Uh, we continue to grow aggressively in secondary and tertiary markets because we genuinely see that uh, space as another area of opportunity apart from tier one cities, 
and also leisure destinations given the opening of the Katra Marriott Resort. Right. Do you also feel that there is some, some sort of saturation in top metros and uh, tier one cities and it's time to focus on tier two and tier three? Is there enough demand? I think there's demand across the board. When you think about, you know, what India has today in terms of total branded hotel inventory of around 180,000 rooms, um, which by 2030 would be headed more towards 300,000 rooms, uh, and you compare this to China or uh, Dubai or U.S. and other mature markets, it pales in significance. And given the incredible growth India is experiencing, uh, the economic shift that you know India will experience from being the fifth largest economy to the third largest economy in the next five years, uh, we think there is some amazing potential as people acquire wealth, mm -hmm. as they you know become more aspirational from a travel point of view. In 2019, 2.3 billion trips were taken across the country which will go to 5 billion in the next five years. Uh, and that's how we see demand growing across all destinations, not just tier one, but tier two and tertiary markets as well. Uh, so I think there is opportunity in, in all areas, including tier one, for more growth. Right. Uh, now, in terms of the segments that you're present in, luxury, premium, select, or maybe the affordable segment, which is uh, the segment which is really driving the highest revenues for you and seeing the highest demand? In terms of our signings, uh, Parikshit, just from last uh, January 23 through you know end of first quarter this year, we have signed more than 5,000 rooms across South Asia and bulk of it being in India. Uh, and in this case, 77% of our signings are actually in the luxury and premium space, um, with 50%, more than 50% actually driven by luxury signings. And this has shifted. If you looked at pre-COVID, uh, given our growth in secondary tertiary markets, we were experiencing you know, um, signings with Courtyard by Marriott, Fairfield by Marriott, and other upscale brands, uh, which has now shifted as more leisure destinations start to open up. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we signed a stunning Ritz-Carlton in Jaipur, uh, spread over 43 acres of land, uh, which is going to be a destination resort. I just talked about uh, signing of the JW Marriott Resort and Spa in Alibag, uh, 10 minutes from Mumbai. So we're seeing a lot of these destination resort opportunities come up across the country as the government invests in infrastructure, accessibility gets better, people are willing to travel more and more, uh, there is a real opportunity for growth. So you will see uh, Marriott opening hotels uh, from a JW Marriott in Pelgao to a Ritz-Carlton in Shimla to hotels in Ranthambor. Um, you know, and we've talked about some of the other destinations across the country as well. Right. So you said uh, you have a pipeline of about 80 hotels. Uh, where would these uh, hotels really come up? You mentioned some of the destinations such as Shimla, Vaishnu Devi. Uh, could you tell us about some of the other areas you want to focus on? So Merit has been very bullish um, on religious pilgrimage destinations as well. We have signed Marriott hotels last year in Ayodhya. Uh, we have a number of hotels in Amritsar. Uh, we have hotels near Shirdi in Nashik. Uh, I just talked about Katra as an example. Uh, we are working on other opportunities as well. Uh, you know, religious tourism, tertiary markets, secondary markets, gateway cities, and then more importantly, leisure destinations, resort locations. I genuinely see great opportunity in these these areas for growth as as the broader community uh, travels across the country uh, and we've seen this thanks to COVID. Uh, COVID has reaffirmed the power of travel and we are seeing that more and more Indians are um, willing to get out and experience their own country uh, and that's what's driving demand across the board. Right. Uh, my final set of questions now Rajiv 
in terms of the global importance of India, when it comes to your global markets and revenues, uh, where does India really figure in terms of the profits coming in, the revenues coming in? So, Parikshit, given Marriott today is the largest hotel company in the world with over 8,500 hotels around the world in uh, around 140 countries, uh, India's contribution is relatively small. However, the growth is one of the best in the world. So we expect in the next few years, India will become our third largest market after U.S. and China, given the growth that we're experiencing here. And when you think about the next few decades, um, I dare say India would, would be one of the key contributors um, to Marriott right. in uh, the long run. In terms of the CapEx plan, you're talking about 300,000 rooms in India by 2030. What kind of a CapEx would that require? Uh, any ballpark figure that you can give us in terms of deploying those funds for the uh, Indian region? Now, please keep in mind the 300,000 rooms I talked about that were broadly across the industry. Um, for us, today we operate over 28,000 rooms. This will go to over 50,000 rooms in the next five years. Um, and, you know, we continue to be very aggressive in terms of working with our, with our partners. Uh, but as a management company, our focus is working with some of our big partners who end up developing these assets um, in various destinations. Right. Rajiv, uh, wonderful talking to you. You're extremely bullish on India, telling us about uh, the growth trajectory for Marriott from 28,000 to uh, 50,000 rooms by the end of uh, 2030. Thanks once again for being with us and giving us your view on how you see growth in the hospitality sector. Thanks so much, Parikshit. It's, it's a pleasure.